Hello friends, this is Teacher JB. Uh, today we are going to start English with the story Dressed for the Rain. Dressed for the Rain. First, let us practice some vocabulary. First one is body. Body. It has two syllables. Accent on the first syllable, ba, body. This D flaps, body, body. Next one, boot. Boot. It's a long vowel. And here at the bottom we have foot. This OO is short and this OO is long. Long boot and short foot. Boot. Foot. Hat. Hat. Next word, knit. K is silent. Knit. 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 And next one, midden. Mid, two syllables. Accent on the first syllable and second T does make sound. And then this T flaps. Midden. 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 Next one, neck. Neck. Next one, rain. Rain. Next one, raincoat. Raincoat. It has, it's a compound word and two syllables, actually on the first syllable, and this N, and because of this C, K sound, it sounds like ng, rain, raincoat, raincoat. Next one, scarf, scarf. Next one, umbrella, umbrella, three syllables, umbrella, actually on the second syllable, brel, brel. And the second L does make sound, so umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Next one, worm, worm. Body, boot, foot, head, knit, midden, neck, rain, raincoat, scarf, umbrella, worm. It is raining. She wears a yellow raincoat. Her body is warm. She wears a knitted hat. Her head is warm. She wears a gray scarf. Her neck is warm. She wears rain boots. Her feet are warm. She wears mittens. Her hands are warm. She gets an umbrella. She goes outside. Now let us read the story in past tense. Past of is, is, was. It was raining. Where? Were. She wore a yellow raincoat. Is. Was. Her body was warm. Where? Were. She wore a knitted hat. Is was her head was warm where were she wore a gray scarf is was her neck was warm where were she wore rain boots are were her feet were warm where were she wore mittens. Are. Were. Her hands were warm. Get. Got. She got an umbrella. Go. Went. She went outside. Okay, let's read the story one more time. It was raining. She wore a yellow raincoat. Her body was warm. She wore a knitted hat. Her head was warm. She wore a gray scarf. Her neck was warm. She wore rain boots. Her feet were warm. She wore mittens. Her hands were warm. She got an umbrella. She went outside. Now there are five scrambled sentences. Let us unscramble them. She is the subject, and then wears. 
is the verb. She wears a yellow, yellow raincoat. Rain coat. She wears a yellow raincoat. And she is the subject. She wears. She wears a knitted. K N I T T E D. And this K is silent. Knitted hat. She wears a knitted hat. Next one. She is the subject. And then wears. She wears a gray scarf. Gray scarf. S C A R F. And she is the subject. She gets, she gets an umbrella, U-M-B-R-E-L-L-A, umbrella. The last one, she is the subject, she goes outside, she goes outside. Okay, now we have five unscrambled sentences, and using this, let us practice reading. She wears a yellow raincoat. Wears a, wear, wears, and then a, wears a. She wears a, she wears a yellow raincoat. And again here, wears a, wear, wears a, wears a, and needed that. Here needed, K is silent, and I. Needed, needed, and the T is flap here, and then cut here, and then H is silent. Needed that, needed that, needed that, needed that. She wears a needed hat, needed that. She wears a same wears, wears a gray scarf. She wears a gray scarf. She gets on. Get, get on, get, get on. She gets an umbrella. She gets an umbrella. The last one goes outside. Here goes. She goes out. She goes outside. Outside. Side here. And then you don't have to say this. Say she goes outside. She goes outside. She goes outside. Let's read the sentences one more time. She wears a yellow raincoat. She wears a yellow raincoat. She wears a yellow raincoat. She wears a knitted hat. She wears a knitted hat. She wears a gray scarf. She wears a gray scarf. She gets an, gets an umbrella. She gets an umbrella. The last one. She goes outside. She goes outside. One more time. She goes outside. She goes outside. Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. I will come back to you with another story as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.